going on boys? It is me Quick and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day But welcome back to another episode of my road to glory career mode series and the transfer window has closed Yes, you heard me right the previous episode is when it closed and now we're gonna try to grind through these videos as fast as possible until we reach the January transfer window so we're gonna grind through these and we're gonna try to make these as fun as possible and yeah our squad is complete and we do have a ton of league games this month and uh, we are gonna be doing an episode per month so we're gonna be going through all these freaking games in one episode and the games I am looking forward to play is this one because this team is actually in fourth place and they have 10 points we have Shrewsbury who came up from the lower division with us and I might play this game with Walsall or this game against Gillingham Town but we're gonna play three games for sure and um, this is turning out to be a very fun career mode we're, we're doing very well in the league we're in second place uh, so without further ado we're gonna send this match and then right after that we're gonna get into the game uh, versus uh, I think it's Leighton Town I'm not really sure uh, but we're gonna get into that game against the fourth place team and then Yusuf Kornik comes with an email that he wants more wages uh, so before we get into the game we're gonna give him more wages and then we're gonna get into this game uh, versus Oldham so we're gonna do that right now currently Yusuf Kornik has a thousand dollars per week so he wants one more year four thousand dollars a freaking week that's a ton of money uh, but he is going to be in a we're gonna make him an important first team player or we're not gonna we're not gonna specify so one year four thousand he should be happy with that all right so we do come out winning 2-1 versus old ham united we did concede a goal but we come out winning Fangudes and strandberg coming out with the goals and julian beagle came out for yellow card and Boljevic came on and he got a yellow card also so we come out winning 2-1 and we get the good news that Kone is gonna extend his contract he's gonna add one more year to it so that's freaking awesome and uh, he hasn't been growing a lot uh, but hopefully he can grow more and more every time we play him and I'm happy that he extended his contract and after that win versus Old Ham United we are in first place we have a one point lead 14 points Blackpool actually lost their first game of the season and the next game we're gonna play is versus Leighton Orient and they dropped all the way down to seventh place but they're only three points behind us so if we lose they can take that first place spot away from us so we have to win in this next game I'm gonna play our best squad and hopefully we do come out with the win Julian Beagle's on it and this is where we have a problem because every time we face a team they're always all, all in the back and I guess that's good but it's always hard to crack them down and we almost lost the ball there, but now it's Baluli on the ball. We're going to do some skill moves. He gets past him, and he goes for the shot, but he shot it straight at Wood. So first shot on target, but it goes straight to the goalkeeper. I hate these centers, man. They're always so hard to defend because they, they always win the balls in the air. I don't know why, but that's just the way they play. They center the ball in, and they always get headers on it, and that's how we concede most of our goals. So, so far, we've been, de we've been defending pretty well, but... Those headers are very hard to win in the air. Oh, beautiful ball. Oh, Tordik is there with the left foot. <sighs> so close. So close. That was a beautiful filtered ball. And Dirk somehow, he still kept going and he shot it. But we get the corner kick and that was the closest chance we have so far. And there's a corner. Anderson tries winning in the air. But that's, that's either going to... Oh, no. They keep it with Cox and they take it out. So we get the throw out. But, man, that was a close opportunity. Oh, great job. We're passing it beautifully. Strandberg is there to finish it. And that is what I call beautiful football. Strandberg made a beautiful run. And don't stop. He's just playing beautifully. He did the kill fleek to Beagle. And Beagle just beautifully sets it up for Strandberg. And I think the goalie could have actually got that. But it went around him. He went the wrong way. And we're up 1-0, boys. Yes. Great job. Target wins it. Now it's Baluli. We're going to do a long ball. There we go. Beagle. Open it up to Turdirk. He hasn't been doing much this season, but hopefully with these ball rolls. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. He keeps going. You, did you guys see how they they literally pushed him off the ball? Beautiful long ball. We. Oh, my God. Get in the way of that. They keep going. We try to get in the way, and that's going to go in. No, it's not. Yes, it is. They tied the game up 1-1, but it was offside. So I knew, I knew, I had a feeling that it was offside. 80th minute. They could have tied it up there, and instead of our defense doing good with Briseño coming in, it was actually all over the place. We finally win the game. So we won 1-0, and they could have made it 1-1. They had opportunities, but 
We won the game 1-0 and Strandberg scored the goal. So he's back in scoring and that was his third goal of the season. So, so far we start off the episode pretty damn well. <laughs> Alright, so we won the game 2-0 versus Yeovil Town. Larson and Whitehead scoring. Larson has been scoring a lot of goals. I'm very proud of him. And uh, yeah, very good result. And uh, we went 2-0. Now we're going to take a look at the top scores. And so far, none of our players are here. Uh, our closest one is Fangundes with four goals. He's two goals away from Wolford, who has the most goals scored. Uh, he plays for Millwall. And we also have Collins from Shrewsbury, who was the highest goal scorer uh, in the previous season uh, in the Football League 2. But now with assist, uh, we do have uh, Dunn as the top assister. And for clean sheets, we do, we do have Mitryushkin tied uh, for first place. So, so far, we're doing pretty well. A lot of supporters of our team really love Lorsen. He's been scoring a lot of goals lately. And I have to I have to admit myself that I freaking love the kid also. But now we're going to get into this game versus Walsall. We're actually going to play this game. They're in seventh place with 13 points. So, we are going to be facing them. And we're still in first place. So, we're doing a great job keeping the lead. Alright, so Larson is going to play in today's episode. I'm going to believe the hype with this kid. So he's going to play as a right wing. We're going to take him out in the second half. As soon as we hit the second half, he's going to come out. And we also have Labadee who went up to a 67 overall rating. He already cashed up to Strandberg, which is awesome. So this is our squad for today versus Walsall. Overall, our best so far. Larson doing very well. So let's get into the game. Oh my god, how did that go in? I legit, legitimately thought he was going to do another dribble, but instead he stopped, he cut, and then he shot the ball and Mitryushkin couldn't do anything about it and we're already down 1-0. Our midfield hasn't been doing too well. We can't connect with our strikers or our forwards, so it's been very difficult attacking, uh, but they already go up 1-0 and what a strike that was. I see the run from Donsa, yes! Donsa's there! No, never mind, that's Baluli! And he makes it 1-1, yes! I was concentrating, and I wanted to keep the possession, and things actually worked out. Baluli made a beautiful forward run, Labidi with the assist, and we just smash it in the back of the net to make it 1-1, and this is important because we tied it up before halftime, so that is freaking awesome. We leave it off to Julian Beagle, the captain of the team. Julian Beagle, now it's Labadee, Labadee continues, the roulette's there, the left foot, another save from the keeper, Labadee's always shooting the ball at the keeper, he never manages to get a shot anywhere else, there we go Labadee, I see Fangudes, he continues on, beautiful skill, he keeps going, and he gets taken down in the box, that should be a yellow card too, that should be a yellow card, but in the 78th minute, we get an opportunity to win the game, Baluli can make it 2-1, he has the best penalty taking stats, so he's going to be the one to take it. And he goes to the right and we make it 2-1. And Baluli scoring his second goal of the game in the 80th minute. We're winning the game, guys. And it came at a very important time. Oh, that's a beautiful chip. And they make it 2-2. I can't believe they scored that. That was a beautiful center. I must admit, look at that. We tried winning the ball with Dearson. They just chip it over. And he's just right in front to finish it. I can't believe we conceded. We draw the game 2-2, we start off very bad conceding, but we, we, we were winning the game 2-1 and we conceded in the 88th minute and we draw the game 2-2. There we go, Donsa, he's through. Beautiful job, he controls, keeps the ball, composure is freaking clear with this kid. Now Strandberg, he's gonna go off the left foot and it deflects off the Shrewsbury and player. Oh, beautiful job. Beautiful. Continue on the center. Dunta. Oh my god, now it's Julian Beagle. He goes for the shot and the save. He parries it though. Oh, Fangundes wins it. Ronaldo chop. Bam, beautiful. He keeps going. Almost loses it. Ooh, bang. Oh, beautiful. Dude, that was a Cruyff turn. That was a Cruyff turn. Ooh, crossbar. Damn it, man. That was beautiful. Good job. I see Donsa there. This guy's good at shooting the ball. Ah, damn it. Close, close. We're getting close to that goal, though. Great job from Donsa. Now it's Fangundes. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. The shot. Oh, my God. That is literally the seventh shot of the game, man. We should have really won this game, guys. But we come out with another draw. 
nil nil and we had like eight opportunities I can show you guys the match facts we had so many shots look at this we had eight shots seven on target Shrewsbury only had one and we come out drawing nil nil we had the opportunities but we couldn't score and I did actually play with a 4-4-2 so I, that might be our default uh, formation from now on but nil nil versus Shrewsbury very disappointing but guys we get the good news that Ryan Ledson is clear he is medically clear to join the squad now so here he is he's still kind of injured but he can still play so he's back into the side and I can't wait to use this kid we only used him for one game and he got injured but we're gonna sim one more game and then we're gonna see how we end off in the league table next game is versus Gillingham I'm gonna prepare the squad we're gonna use and uh, then we're gonna we're gonna get into this game so I'm gonna switch out the squad and then send the game so here is the last game of the episode we already go up 1-0 with Lorsen scoring another goal every time we put him to play this kid's scoring but that is how the game ended 1-0 Fangundes came on to play uh, Connolly did get a yellow card but we went 1-0 with Lorsen scoring in the third minute and now we're gonna check how we're doing in the league table so this is how we end off today's episode we stay in first place seven wins four draws we're still undefeated we have a goal difference of 10 and we are in first place with 25 points Millwall is in second with 24 and they have a better goal difference than us Preston is in third with 24 points Doncaster is in fourth with 22nd and Shrewsbury is not doing too well uh, it looks like it's kind of tough for them here in the Football League 1. They're in 15th place and uh, Portsmouth, I want to see how they're doing. They're in 19th place, so they're doing even worse. So we're doing pretty well. We're the only side from the Football League 2 to come up and be doing this well. Uh, so I'm very happy with our side. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, slap a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. But before we do anything, I'm going to switch a formation to a 4-4-2. Uh, so here we go, 4-4-2. It, it, it worked very well, but we couldn't score uh, in that game versus Shrewsbury. So I'm going to switch out the squad right now and then just show you the players that we're going to have in our starting 11. So this is our starting 11. Everything is pretty much same with the goalkeeper and defense. But in the midfield, we have Dirk. Vigo and Donza and Fangundes in the midfield. We have Strandberg and Baluli as the strikers. Baluli has pretty good stats, so he can play as a striker. But this is a formation from now on, a 4-4-2. That is what we're going to use. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. But I've been Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.